Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. Today's bonus game is Word 500. So let's start with count because it gives the count of greens and yellows. Okay, that's a, that's a pretty good result. I don't think I want to spam this left one, but also this right one has more letters known, but they are not placed. I don't know, I'm thinking like O-T-U maybe. Sorry, O-T-U, like Lotus. If it's Lotus and I get that in two, that will be really awesome. It's not, but okay. What is it? T-O. It's Taurus then? It must be. Yeah. Okay, so O-U and then there's an S somewhere. Probably something like Mousy. Oh, just Mouse. I didn't realize there was still an E available. All right. <laughs> kind of a fast solve there. Um, I don't think it was terrible. They were all possible. There wasn't really a whole lot of opportunity to like do something really strategic there given the amount of info count gave us. So yeah, I don't I don't mind that solve. Probably could have gone for mouse before mousey, but whatever. Uh, let's continue. All right, let's play Fibble. So in Fibble, each guess has exactly one lie in it. Now what's interesting about this rigid start is we know the lie has to be in the eyes because it's not possible to get a gray eye and a yellow eye in this order. If there's one eye in the word and it's not in either of these slots, it prefers to color the left one. So we know that these cannot be lying. One of these eyes is lying. So either this eye should have been green, or it should have been gray, or this eye should have been green or yellow. Um, so any of those are possible. So what we can't do is eye eye like this. And you can never, can never put two eyes next to each other. So the only option I can think of that would make any sense would be for two eyes would be like an eye eye like this, like icily. I think it's worth trying to get more some contradictions in here. This does work because this should be yellow in this case with two yellow eyes. Okay, so I ended up with one yellow eye and one gray, uh, gray eye, this time in the correct order, and a Y at the end. I tend to believe all of it. But if I believe all of it... Oh no, I can't, hold on. Can't, is this believable? There, there's definitely lies going on here. Okay, so actually, um, I can't have a yellow eye here and only a yellow eye here because there's no lie that works here that gives us a single yellow here. We'd have to have both of these lying. So all of this has to be true still because one of these eyes has to be lying still. I'm thinking maybe there's just no eye in the word at this point because I don't know where I'd put it. Okay, yeah, I think, I think we've proven there's just no I in the word at this point. There may be some weird edge case that I haven't thought of, but we're going to try an A-Y word. Um, how about, I don't know, pasty. I tend to believe this Y. Actually, I think I have to believe the Y. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that this A is the lie. I'm going to say we have another A, maybe like an A-T-T-Y word. Um, like batty or something. Okay, so this A actually cannot be lying, <laughs> because if the A was lying, uh, we would have the correct answer. So this is our lie. Or sorry, this is not a lie, which means that's not a lie. Now, one of these is lying. I tend to think it's the B, so we're something something TTY. No I either. So an E or an O or a U there. Um, what would we do? You'd think it would be maybe maybe haughty. <laughs> I don't know. I'll try it. Oh, oh, we need a lie in pasty though. I thought the A was a lie, but it's not. So we need the S or the P in the word. Hmm. Or this T is lying and that T is lying, which is possible. This would be yellow, this would be gray. But let's see if we can get a P. Maybe potty? Or putty putty? I think putty is better. Interesting result. Okay, one of these P's is lying. That actually gives us quite a bit of information. Because since one of these P's is lying, we can't have both of these lie, right? If this is lying, this is also lying. Uh, yes, because green and green, right? They, they completely agree about T being in that spot. So if this is lying, this has to be lying. But then that would make us have no lies for the P's. So this T is straight up correct all the way down. Um, I am thinking maybe we are potty then, or maybe petty. Petty. Okay. Wow, the lie was the first slot four times in a row. 
That's crazy. I liked this intro where we figured out the eyes had to be the lies and then there couldn't be an eye in there. That, that was really interesting. That That's different logic than I usually have to think about in this game, and I liked that a lot. Um, petty's not an easy word. The TTY ending, it's a bit trappy, too. And with the lies, it's really hard to think about the traps and whether you're in a trap or actually not. <laughs> but this baddie was nice. Uh, this result was really nice because if it had lied about the A being green, I would have totally gone along with that <laughs> uh, for a bit. So cool. Well, how'd you do? Let's do between all. I'll start with mouse and then explain where to go from there. Okay, so this orange dot is telling us how close we are to each of these words, mouse versus all Zs. Um, and the per these are percentages. So 17% of all words are between mouse and our word. 28% are between our word and the end. So not quite midway. Um, I'm thinking maybe we start with like a T here. I'm going to try like an early T word. Um, I think that'll be the best. Um, I don't know, maybe tally. Why not? All right, I went way too far. Okay, I don't have a good... I need to, I need to remember 17% is T is way too far. I think maybe we could be an S-A word. There's a lot of words starting with S. So let's do like Sandy. Let's go from there. Sandy was not far enough. So I don't... 1.5%? I think we might start with a late R word then. Like runic. I have to go further back. Um, Is there another like a really early RU word I can do? Or should I go back to like R-O? I could do something like round. Ooh, that's not even far enough. Ooh, R-O-U-N. I can't do C, B, or A. So the, it's something quite right before uh, N. I don't think I can do R O U M R U L. No, hold on. How far back do I need to go here? Rouge, like the color red rouge. I went too far. We're between R. We're between rouge and, and and round. So I missed something. It's not R U N. No, no way. M doesn't seem right. L J I, I doesn't make sense. H. Oh, rough. Rough is between rouge and round. Okay, got it. A little bit rough at the end there, <laughs> but got it in seven. How'd you do? All right, let's play Word 500. So the way this game works, um, I'll explain after I guess stare here. Okay, so it, normally Wordle would give us greens and yellows on the letters. Here we get counts. So there's one green, one yellow, and three reds. So this is strictly harder than Wordle, other than having more guesses than Wordle. Um, so we need to just kind of guess which ones are green and yellow at this point, and then we can either find contradictions or or find you know evidence piling up that we were correct. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of ending an E and just moving this A. So something like this, I think, would work really well. Keeping the two vowels just makes a whole lot of sense. Um, so what would I, what's a good word for that though? You know, I, I actually, I often have trouble thinking of a word for this uh, because the ST are gone. So we can't do A-S-T-E. Um, there's another option, which is to go E-A like this, keep the A in place and move the E. So I think that's going to be easier. Um, like beach, let's give that a try. Two greens. So let, let's assume that we were right, that we got this EA exactly correct. Then that means we're just a different EA word. So maybe mealy. Okay, so now that th we found a contradiction, right? If the EA were correct, we should have two greens, but we don't. So if I double click this Word 500 logo, then I can reset. So we know it's not E and A for sure. Um, I'd like to think we got the A right all the way down, and we shouldn't have been using the E. So we need to bring in an ST or an R, and then one something in beach is also in place. My initial thought is R, A, and then of course there's no Y, L, or M. Um, well, R, A, and then maybe a CK word? Can't do track. How about rack? Like you're racking your brain for what the answer could be. Wow. <laughs> wow, that, that is a really good solve. 
I think I got lucky by a lot, but still <laughs> quite enjoyed that. Um, very nice. Okay, I'm very happy with that. How would you do? All right, polygonal. We have an eight letter word today. Uh, this repeats here and this repeats here. So that makes ing a little interesting if we want to try that, because we need this to repeat after an i and before an ing. Uh, and it can't be an n. Um, I feel like that's kind of tough. Um, all right, maybe I just don't do ing. <laughs> maybe I just don't do that. Um, I mean, we, we can always end in ed, er, something like that. So maybe we should think of a five-letter word, no, a six-letter word that does this, that we can just tack on an ed or an er or something. Um, it, S, actually, st makes a lot of sense, right? Start. But then this s, I don't want to really want to put an er at the end of. Like, I was thinking about start. Starts, sir. Starts. Yeah, it doesn't work, right? Starter works, but not starts. Um... I don't, I don't see another way to, uh, to end this. Um, so maybe not ST. Maybe like TR. Ooh. It doesn't look very good, does it? Um, something other than an F? Or sorry, other than a T. I was thinking about F at the time, but um, something other than a T here? Like P like I I like the the idea of like something along these lines ending in ed, erpt right, per, but I don't see a word at all. Okay, I think this might be a filler word. I think I've given it enough try. Um, I'm trying to save a little bit of time because I've actually spent a lot of extra time co recording today. So, um. Eight-letter word, uh, we're going to do machined and see if that ED is correct. ED was correct. So my instinct was right that we end in like an ED or something like that. There's an M somewhere, but I'm just going to do robustly and see what other letters we've got. Okay, that was extremely helpful. So R was here, not second. This pretty much has to be the U. We know we end in ED. It's, it's ru rumored, spelled the British way. Pretty sure. Okay. It, the creator of the game is British, um, but I think he tries he tries to not keep the British spellings, but I'm pretty sure um pretty sure this is a British spelling of rumored, isn't it? Yeah, this is the this is the British spelling of rumor. Rumored. Okay. Um Yeah, that would have been tough cuz I'm I'm not British. Anyway, let's do the mini. Cheat today. Nope. Okay. Probably a TTY word like uh um um batty. I was right. Um, is it, is it putty today? <laughs> it is putty. <laughs> That's really funny. Because of the dortle, right? No, not the dortle. What was it? Oh, yeah, the vibble was petty. <laughs> the, the fibble was petty, and the, the mini was putty. <laughs> okay. It felt familiar. Cool. Lots of words for this one. Let's do symbol. We'll start with blaze. L second. Uh, clamp, maybe? Okay, so it's not L second, but this is an interesting result. Maybe we're something like, we'd probably have to be E second, and then I'm thinking this is maybe ending in CK or something. Um, I don't know how that would work, though. I think this has to be C. It could be PT? Tempt? Imagine if it's Tempt and I get that in three. It's not. Okay. I was right about E here. This middle letter has to be T. It's the only option, because it can't be the P, because the P would be pointing there too here. And then this fourth letter has to be C. Oh, it's an etch word, like fetch. 
right, wretch. Okay. A little trappy. Darn, if it was tempt, oh, that would have been amazing. I'm pretty sure tempt was possible. This E here. This. Oh no, it couldn't have been tempt because I used the M again. M didn't point there. Darn, tempt wasn't possible. I hate when I accidentally do a word that isn't possible because I try to do hard mode. It's not enforced by the game. Sometimes I'm tempted to just make my own symbol that has hard mode built in. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's move on. Blind Fusel. I think we're forced to start with knife here. What do you think? Okay. Uh, that was the twist. The twist is we had to use those letters that were already filled in. Here we are... Um, we're getting alphabetical hints. It is very tempting to do something like eerie, even though there's no I. We're like MC to find the E, but I don't think that's actually a good idea. Um, let's do a bunch of letters near S. Um, of course, we're using an E somewhere. So like S, T, E. I could do steps. That's not terrible. OK. So the E was found. This, this, um, this twist, we have to do anything but a real word. So I'm going to try to figure out what we want to try to guess, and then at least we can fish out what letters are probably here. This could be ending in T. We could end in P. No, yeah, we could end in P. Um, end in R. I'm kind of wondering about like ending in E-E-R here. What, what can this be? This could be an R. So maybe, maybe we're like ending in T here. Like greet or something. So I would like to try a G here, a T here, an E there, and then an R here, and then let's just see if there's like a an E A going on there. So we'll do an A there. So I'm right about R E E. This is not a T though. So maybe it's something like creep. Yes, it was nice. That was a good solve. This is always amazing, though, being able to just plonk letters exactly where you want them to be to test. You just can't get it in three. Like, it's not possible to get this word in three. I'm not sure if I... I, I was going to guess greet, though. So, like, had I guessed greet, creep would have would have been my next guess anyway. So I, I don't think this one specifically helped in this case. Steps was really good, though. Steps was a great result. Okay. Let's do don't wordle. It's thinking of a secret word. We are trying to avoid guessing it. So I'm going to start with kayak. You have a yellow A, so I have to use an A somewhere that isn't where I've already tried it, and I can only use one A. Um, it's tempting to undo, but I'm wondering if I can get a little bit more info at least before I do. Something like um, I was gonna say I was gonna say check, which I can't do. I don't think check is a word, but I'll try it anyway. It's a word. Nice. Okay, that worked out. So A is in the middle. That was my suspicion. Um, maybe I can get like an ALL word out of the way. Or is there a better, like AFF? Yeah, like staff? Uh, oh, chaff would have been great, but I used the CH already. Let's just do staff. Why not? Okay. So we have that S there now. It's not SH, it's not ST, it's probably SL. We could look for an SEA word though. Um, I wonder if like seep is a word like this. I don't know, it, se it seemed like it might be seer. Okay. Ooh, wow, this is trappy actually. I wonder if it accepts swear, because I don't think that's like a real word. <laughs> okay. So it's probably spare or snare. Or, I wonder if Slayer is, no, it was worth a try. How about, oh, Soar. I think that's not going to be on the answer list. Nice, that actually worked out really well. And it was Snare. Okay, I like solves like that, where it's not like just getting lucky with my intro. I just had to, had to think about that a bit. I think, I, I don't know if I even made good choices, but I, I, I got through it anyway. I was lucky that it was a trappy word. Um, but I was just waiting to figure out what the word was and undo, <laughs> and I never had to, so nice. Well, those are the games for today. I hope you enjoyed them, and if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.